This was going to be the fun mode, but Garen Galio mid lane. That was super exciting. Yeah, I got to see my Alawi as well. I'm forever cursed not to see Alawi <laughs> in my own games, but it was awesome to watch. Well, the regional teams are throwing together to create Fire and Ice Super Squad. So first, let's see how Team Fire is lit in the top lane, technically. Although the lands do not really apply. It is, in fact, Bengi there in the jungle. Prey will be AD carry. Levi in the jungle and Ron OP in support, of course. The players kind of go wherever they want, but representing their position still. Yeah, it's a bit all over the place there. Pasty and blustering onto the rift for the Stone Cold Team Ice. It will be Albus coming in here as ADC. So as in the top lane, Yankos in the jungle. Clearlove also in the jungle with Ziv as their top laner. Well, let's have a quick look, of course, for how all for one actually works. It's a bit interesting. I know, Pulse, you have a surprising amount of experience with the mode from it last week. But basically, each team picks one champ. There's a lot of to determine which champ it is. And then every single person on that team gets the champion. There are no bans. There's only so many champions available as well. Yeah, as much experience as one can have on this game mode, pastry. <laughs> but let's see the champions available for this mode. There's only a couple kind of cheesy picks that we've seen so far, and that's the Zac because you can actually build tanky. Maybe Kindred could be a bit dirty with the ultimates, but overall, these champions just want a lot of kills to happen. Yeah, almost all of them are extremely exciting. Uh, I did cast it last year as well, the Blitzcrank all, uh, and that was actually 10 Blitzcranks. That just got ridiculously out of hand. Uh, I feel like actually in the spirit of the game mode, I need to like take a knee or something, get down on your guys' <laughs> level. There we go. Okay. So the rest of the intro bit, like this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so excited for this one though. What, what are your guesses so far? I mean, I know you saw some pretty crazy stuff. Driving vs. Yeah, so it felt like a highlight, yes. certainly. That was uh, probably the most fun one that we had because most of the team fights were all done mid air. Uh, and it was <laughs> like, well, whoever lands back down again is the victor of the fight. So hopefully we see some of that because that was super awesome to watch. I do really enjoy the ones that bring CC because you just multiply by five. Uh, the ones without CC, it makes it pretty difficult unless you're Ezreal and you have that extra mobility. Uh, but yeah, yeah, generally somebody with some knockups or stuns is going to do well. I mean, I've seen a bit of that Ezreal as well, and I believe Zac is kind of the pick that we don't want to see. That's kind of the, the strong pick, the cheesy pick of the mode, if you will. Yeah, there's some uh, a bit of a mini meta that does form in this game mode regarding skins, though. Uh, so if you're playing Ezreal, then you will want to pick the same skin, because not everyone will go AP. So that random guy who's like 10-0, you don't know which ultimate's going to hit you and which one's going to hurt most. So we'll see what the players actually pick in terms of skins after we've got the champion picks. But remember, this is lottery mode, so if your team doesn't <laughs> All the oh, green oh, oh, oh. then you might just run him into something you don't want. But <laughs> I think everyone knows what they want in this game, Pace I've seen three locked in Lee Sins so far. I see three hovered Lee Sins on the other side. I'm actually curious if this is coincidence or if they actually agreed upon it ahead of time to have the 10. So from my experience, uh, Lee Sin, very, very fun to watch because we were all going in as IWCA casters being like, ah, Lee Sin, he's not as strong anymore. It won't be as fun. When someone's getting kicked against the wall five times, they literally can't move for 10 seconds. It gets a little bit mental. Well, Team Fire is getting Lee Sin. That much I can tell you. Team Ice, Albus can still portray the squad and pick something else. It is a lottery, but of course, if every player picks the same champion, which is now what we've got, uh, it's not really random at all. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> All right, let's see about the summoner spells, though, as well. Junglers, I expect to have a pretty uh, heavy hand in this one. I mean, the combat smite definitely helps out a lot. Plus, that's usually going to be the guy getting the most kills because he gets to come, you know, turn the numbers in their favor as well. Interesting right now because, of course, we have one smite apiece, which makes sense. Actually, Yankos will be taking jungle for his side, not clear love. Bengi over on Team Fire. The top laners, and I say that in air quotes, have two of the teleports, but our Team Fire, I guess, thematically, do have three ignites. So, another strategy was to pick a champion like Lee Sin and then be like, all right, guys, who's the best Lee Sin's in our team? And then you put your resources into them. So, they may put clear love in a solo lane here to try and soak up those resources and have him as a carry. It's interesting if, you know, will they designate someone as a tank building Lee Sin as well? Because that could even pose more threat to your team if he gets kicked into your team. Uh, it just does extra damage to everyone as well. And I mean, there's again a lot of chains. Like you said, Kobe, CC can be very fun in this mode. That's because you multiply it by five. We could see some really intense displacement with a bunch of kicks. I mean, there's a reason this is the most popular champion in the game. There's a huge potential for outplay. Uh, there are those Chi Chi uh, CC chains that you can get, but he's also a snowball champion as well. Well, at least everyone has flash, so we can get some really flashy fights. Don't forget, of course, to vote at LOL Esports if you want hashtag Iceman or hashtag Fight But let's be real, at this point, Everyone's a winner today. <laughs> 
The biggest winner is actually me. Yeah, I think <laughs> all of us here casting this game, everyone at home watching, everyone in this arena watching this game, as well as everyone playing the game as well. But we will only have five winners coming out of this and some points on the line. But I believe we'll be on the winter map as well for this one. Ooh, spoilers. <laughs> also, more spoilers. Uh, the skin, uh, the skin wars here. I believe gonna be won by Team Fire as they do have, you know, the uh, uniform style. Whereas Yankos and Ziv actually deviating from the rest of Team Ice. Well, as you can see, five knockout least sins as Team Fire leave the fountain. I believe Ice could not quite agree. I think this is the better play, honestly, because <laughs> I love the ding ding. Gonna hit hard. Muay Thai, well, to me, Muay Thai and the uh, Boxer one are the two best skins. So, you know, deciding between those two, Acolyte actually, to me, feels like the worst of all of them. <laughs> Yankos yeah. here is going that hipster style, though. <laughs> Wear it proud. Well, this is fun because it looks like both teams have actually crept into a brush and they are waiting patiently for their prey. Unfortunately, they're pretty far apart as well. So, all right, I'm gonna, level ones I'm gonna check it. everyone's level one skill. Q, Q, Q for all of Ice. Q, 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 Q for our all of Fire except for Levi. He hasn't skilled up yet. Ah. The surprise E. <laughs> yeah. Everyone connects their Qs, gets into range. He comes in with the AOE finish. Find them. No. This is a game of battleships right now. I think we're not gonna see anyone meet each other just yet. I'm a little worried for uh, Yankos because he's gonna stick out like a sore thumb with that skin. So if he or will there, he have the spotlight on him when he goes maybe. legendary? <laughs> we'll have to see. I mean, regardless of really how you do when you have Lee Sin, Lee Sin still does a lot of damage, uh, especially when you're also against Lee Sin. So we'll see. I'm gonna be curious to see what the item builds look like. Again, we're gonna have relatively standard lane assignments here, and the items do reflect that as well. Of course, the players are not restricted at all in how they can build. So they can go tanky if they want to, and we usually see a lot of Thunderlords. We are going to get eight uh. here, a Warlord and a Courage of the Colossus. That's so as with the Warlords there, I believe, if they're yeah. lined up uh, correctly. And, yeah, in fact, with uh, you know how to tell. Colossus, so, maybe he'll be the tank uh, builder of the team. Oh, so is in again. Did have a 1v1 on Lee Sin yesterday in a mirror match, but I couldn't quite hit all the Qs he wanted to. And that's kind of what we're talking about. If they have Impact build the tanky Lee Sin, that's the team that all have the same skin, so he can kind of hide there. I mean, the bars above his head will probably give it away, but uh, we'll be able to tell by skin. Oh, then. Let's see if, oh, uh -oh. oh, in the mid lane, got that one-on-one -on -one trade happening. Prey is going to be close. Oh! He's going to jump in this time. So as gets the kill. Redemption for his 1v1. There you have it. Warlords is OP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Thanks oh, for coming genius. in. Good defense there, but Vengi's actually going to get a Grest on Yankos backing onto it as Soas. Going to try and tag him. They need to line up these next Qs. There's a safe guy. Oh! Too late. This Soas wants it. Not going to get it. Yankos <laughs> goes for it, though. He's going to get it, but they both die. Oh, it was an execute. Soas didn't die to anyone. He's a genius. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to One for All, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this all right, is let's, what happens. Let's check back in on the Lee Sin v. Lee Sin battle v. Lee Sin battle v. <laughs> Lee Sin battle down here. Two Qs missed by Team Fire. Oh, disaster for Albus right now. Levi is going to be chased on after by Clear Love. He's got those Lee Sin mechanics naturally from the jungle. Now, remember, you are going to want to get your auto attacks in. In the early levels, it does matter quite a lot there for Lee Sin when they only have a couple of abilities. They want to run out of energy. But here again, uh, is Vanky trying to enter the fray mid lane after first blood was already had? I like what happens here. Vanky detaches in. And so as tagged in, does dive at Yankos, knows he can get it and still get executed. As you said, uh, no gold credit there for the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> and success as he was able to clean up the mess. It was actually really good from Soaz because if he didn't jump in there and try and make a play, then it would have just been one kill over to fire. So he did salvage that situation with a, a pretty ballerly sim play. Well, looks like a level up for Prey right now versus Soas, but he will even that out relatively quickly. Kind of curious to see if that starts to matter, because of course the first Lee Sins to level 6 could be impactful here as well. In the meantime, though, Prey is looking for a roam by the looks of things. Gonna make his way down to that bottom lane, but Albus and Clearlove gonna try and play this a little safer, perhaps. I like what the supports are doing as well. Uh, staying true to their support form, going for that Relic Shield so that they can lane with another Lee Sin and uh, get that gold over to them. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if uh, anyone actually goes with some extra ward items, because you can just use other people's wards, right? And yeah. everyone should probably stick with the yellow trinkets in this game, uh, but we'll see if they pick up any Sight Stones or uh, the warding 
jungle item. In fact, okay that time though, did dodge a first Q, which was nice. Now Bengi's actually waiting behind, but he can escape over. He finds Soas now, he's actually looking for the Roman. Q's gonna land in onto Bengi. Damage is decent. That Q's gonna miss though. That one also gonna miss. Yanko's now looking for the next one. They can keep hopping away, Soas. They're gonna keep moving down. Bengi could be problems, but great Q there from Soas. Does get himself another kill. Oh. Back. He's gonna look to go down. They're gonna commit for the dive, but Soas can't oh. do it. Do it. <laughs> okay, we were. I was a little. I thought maybe one more turret shot was also coming out, but not gonna happen there. Oh! Zip oh! Bank in the big play. Safe goes back to Yankos. That's a bail his buddy out on that heist. What a dive. All right, Ice does have a thousand gold lead already, only a little bit over five minutes into the game. And this is one of those snowbally modes because, you know, there's no surprise comeback uh, from, you know, any team fight advantage or scaling advantage for either team. Clearly, there might be in a spot of bother in the meantime, but Ziv and Yanko's actually going to work on this top turret instead. They should be able to get first turret gold here and will. And you can see that gold advantage starting to leverage nicely. So it has been the big recipient of that here at 2 1 and 2. And that early team at, oh, it's going to be good. Definitely be agree there. Now jump in. I think, we're, I think we're all good, guys, for now. It's worth mentioning that Soas is massive in terms of Lee Sins. Currently with that team at 2 1 and 2, is this in every kill so far? Another team out there as well, actually purchased by Ziv. So I think we're probably expecting some relatively similar builds. I'm wondering if Impact's going to go a little tanker with his courage of the Colossus, but I mean, that's, that's true. Everyone wants to have fun. The best way to have fun is to kill people on Lee Sin. As so as diving in again onto Prey. Ooh, could be get more action here. He's trying to make this happen, but no one's sick just yet. Oh, awful lot of safeguards coming out as well, but Bengi gonna tip the scales. Alba's tagged in, that's too cute. Execute damage is oh. oh, right on top. And now clear love tag in. Force to fly for the Ignite is down, and that's a double kill. Rano B coming in there for that second kill. And yeah, jungling Lee Sin, Bengi in this one, coming into the bottom lane, getting that quick double kill. I still with a small advantage, but Suat's coming in. They're both gonna <laughs> kick each other with a DVZ. Fight in the mid lane underneath that tower. Oh! Oh! Yanko! Yanko's out of nowhere! Wait, there's another challenger, Bangy in the brush. Looking for something here. He's got his ultimate, I believe, as well, but not gonna commit. He's gonna stalk his prey right uh -huh. behind. Looking through the brush, but he's been caught. Yankos found him already. Kick back in, another anime moment. They'll fly off. But look at this dive in the mid lane as well. Oh, so has made a Okay, what a play here as Ziv dives in for another. So has on a killing spree. Oh. So as the all-star of the all-star Lee Sin mode here, just going off, being a unique uh, fellow with his warlords as well, it seems to be paying off. <laughs> oh no, Albus! <laughs> By the way, there's only one Lee Sin going a different build than all nine other Lee Sins, and that is Ron OP being a true support, maxing safeguard second. Everybody else is maxing Q second for the executes. That will uh, come into a trade later, but currently it's just 1v1s across the map. Praise found Zip, that's the kick. Will we follow with the Q flash oh, out the way? Hey. Oh, that's great of our play. Prey taking out Zip there in the jungle. Beautiful flash right there to the side and lands his sonic wave right after. The menu there, we can see again. We're gonna go out and say just fly away, but help us on the way here. Yep, Rod OP, here's the support that does come in. And he's able to chase Yankos away, but remember, he didn't max his Q, so oh. he didn't get to kill him. Bangy does finish it off. I saw Yankos' hands go in the air there because he got the smite off, so he had the extra experience, he thought, uh, yep. the extra health rather than thought he could get that kill, but taken out just as he threw over that wall. One of the funny things about Lee Sin, I thought we're going to have something again. So it's playing very aggressive. Tags one, finds a resonating strike on the prey, but won't follow this time. So we do have the, uh, an extra Sight Stone, two extra Sight Stones coming in for Ice and one for Fire. There will be plenty of wards for plenty oh, of plays. Yeah, because I don't know where he went there, but he's going to keep getting chased down. Can't get over. Levy takes him down this time. There's so much to keep track of, because when there's one Lee Sin in the game, you're like, all right, he's Q's going to time out, but who's oh. got the kick? Going to knock both each other back, but so has six to that tower shot. Thank you there with the kill, but Ziv wants some revenge for his ally. But instead, he's going to receive some Lee Sins to take home with him. And Ron going to take him out. But Albus for the support. Kicks him against the wall. Oh, Great with the body oh. block, But the bodyguard goes down. Ron OP backing away. But he's in enemy territory, pastry. I think it'd be okay, but there's someone chasing him. It is Albus. They're going to try and take him down here. But up away to the Krogs. Looks for the block. Oh. Doesn't get him. Is it enough for an execute? That actually might cost him with the failure on the block. Oh, no, Flashes in to take him down. 
I really feel in this game mode, when everyone's on Lee Sin, then saving your flash is one of the most important things that you can do. It's not worth it just to get away from a kill. You want to make a montage play. The earlier you use it, the earlier it'll come back up. That's <laughs> Here we go, though. Kicks through kicks as both of them get knocked out, but so as into the turret does uh, hit a skill shot with his dying breath, though. Maybe baiting them in as he gets then chased down. Quite looking good as well. As you can see, I was trying to convert for the tower dive. Yankos, <laughs> once again, having a lot of fun here. Roller coaster of emotions for Yankos, <laughs> uh, but he is a 3 2 and 4, so mostly positive for him. Ooh, what's this is? They're gonna kick one away. Prey now getting chased down by two other leads. He's done one. Oh, oh kick man. Man. that's just gross! Gets ganged up on in the river there. Four versus one, gonna go down. Meanwhile, that leaves uh, the bottom lane here to try and push in. The minions, remember the minions, <laughs> my friend. Remember objective <laughs> always. I think, yeah, I think objectives have kind of gone out of the window at this point, but uh, we're 10 minutes in, we've got 20 kills. I mean, yeah, Team Ice, they do have the only turret taken. That was the first turret extra bonus there, so that is actually a decent amount of the lead as uh, Rano P goes in to try and get the kick. Uh, Ziv out to safety now. They do have numbers for Team Ice. Oh, clearly them again, Rolo P. Goodbye. Oh, man, what's going on? This is just a bouncing castle to kick. Impact, though, safe for now. Alva's trying to look for a cube. Impact gets behind the minions. Important to keep track of all these wards as well, because any of these things can come out of anywhere. Alves with the kick. And oh, he's out the safety. Bray coming in as well. Alves back and away. He's got the safeguard, Yankos. There to block up some of these resonating strikes for Ben. He could be into the bottom oh, lane. Oh, with the L play! Oh, we'll take him out underneath the tower. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Here is Impact hitting low, but Prey gonna protect his countrymen. Tag though for oh, Prey here. Oh. Just follow it. That's gonna be a kill. Damage is enough as Yankos now gonna get chased down. Clear up. We're gonna move back in onto Prey first. Q misses there from Yankos. Kick's not gonna miss though. Is that should be enough? Yankos. I believe activated team to take that down. Well, we have learned that there is definitely safety in numbers here. And Team, I team Ice have been grouping up a bit earlier than Team Fire, definitely paying off. But look at that gold. Pretty much back to even after the tower is even. So what's the difference here? It's the objectives. Those are what are swinging it. I think the hidden hero here from Fire, though, is Levi, who is 3-0-2 right now. He's having a killer of a game. And take a look at his farm. He's completely destroying every other Lee Sin on the map with 107 currently. So Ice needs to be careful of that. And he's hidden among uh, the other boxes on Fire. <laughs> so difficult to find him. I'm trying to figure out how he found all that time to get farm. I don't know, to be honest. I mean, yeah, Team Fire were the ones that weren't uh, grouping up quite as early, so he was left in the bottom lane there, farming away. We'll see if it does pay off. He's a jungler by profession as well. There's mechanics. Ooh, hello. Oh, double punch back. As if an impact just disengaged from the so area. So is the technical term for that the DBZ? The, uh, I think so. Yeah. Gentleman's trade there. Now Ziv actually outnumbered. Stick him against the wall. Follow up the standard Lee Sin combo. Bengi making it look easy in the top lane. But that means the uh, enemy Lee Sins are going to jump onto the dragon now. A battle of the century. Ah, the dragon doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Because they're taken down from it. Oh. Kick on back. There's the kick answering for Soaz, but he's got help. Prey's going to kick him in towards the turret, but doesn't proc it yet. Soaz gets out to a minion. Oh. Levi's going to find him. He's got friends with it and safeguard him. <laughs> Levi kicked out, but he safeguards to a friend. All right, they've got the numbers now, and Team of Fire are on the chase. Maybe he's on the chase, but maybe he's on the receiving end. He doesn't want to be here anymore. And clean up goes in, but Albus is the one chasing after. Levi comes out there, but it's Albus who's going to go down, ticking out from the Ignite. Double kill somewhere to someone. Four <laughs> kills to zero. Fire definitely came out on top. Lee Sin with the triple! And Team Fire defend their territory, actually coming back. They've actually gained the gold lead here for the first time as well. Let's see if Ziv can do anything about it. Winning the first major team by our fire. Very nice little play in their own jungle, but Ziv and Prey both of them make something happen here. Ziv slows him down with a Tempest, kicks him back in. Doing a lamb, but Prey moves back in. That should be enough, though. Ziv does collect another kill. Honestly, very impressed you were able to keep up with the skill names there, Paisley. <laughs> yeah. But then again, if you just say random Lee Sin skill names, it's probably accurate when you get to more than four Lee Sins in a fight. So, might try that for next time. <laughs> Benji doesn't quite land the cue there, but he'll back away. Levi trying to get cheeky there and steal away the blue buff, but Soaz not very happy about this intrusion. Four, five, and four. He's a pretty beefy Lee Sin and he has clear love behind him. Yeah, good flash there. He's the one with the six kills, so a huge bounty on Levi. Uh, and that is one extra thing that they can actually start to tell the Team Fire Lee Sins apart from each other because of the extra medallion. Well, something being set up here by Soas perhaps is in fact 
Doing a spot of farming for the time being. Actually, does go to Titanic Card. It was attacked by Yanko Sniff. Here is all looking for something, but Impact can a safeguard away to a what? Is there anyone else to try and chase him down? Ziv up to Ward to try and take him down, and that will be enough. The uh, Courage of the Colossus, slightly more tanky build. Not really working out so far in the mode uh, for Impact this time around, but. Team Ice, Let's see what they do with this control of the map. The kick flash, he's got the mechanics, but Bray's gonna kick away Ziv, so is going in, but so is Albus, Tempest, all spins, Dragon Rages, Qs are going on, but after all of that, it's so as picking up the deck. I mean, which way's in, which way's out anymore? It looks like uh, Team Ice are gonna be the ones trying to bend this turret now. Who's trapped in with who, indeed? It looks like they're gonna group up and try and do something here. Duke in there, Ziv gets kicked back, that's a kill for Ron OP, and they're gonna try and defend this turret, but relatively healthy, everyone's getting attacked by resonating strikes, but the minion waves are getting cleared, and this is something we might have to look at, because it is really hard to push down turrets with 10 melee champions. <laughs> Definitely true. It's also hard to keep track of which wards were previously oh. placed for plays like that. Levi gets another. That's seven for him. Levi coming in. Attack of the Titan. A leads double. it. Coming out here. It's going to be that double kill. Yankos backs away, preventing the triple. But Fire starting to get the upper hand. King of the Lee Sins right now there for Levi. Eight to his name. He is legendary. Will Team Ice be able to collect that bounty? We'll have to see because he's certainly been impressive. I'm a young player, know those mechanical skills. The stars can look for a free one. Rono P says no. Double Q's will tag Levi. Oh. Him the first one, but it's a bait onto Yankos. Yankos turns it around and kicks to the face. Gonna be a shut there. Colossal oh, Titan answer, down. Answer that question pretty quickly, actually, as uh, Levi. Uh oh! Cheese it! Okay, we're <laughs> oh, oh. no, no, not good. <laughs> Never say that So I'm not reading from the same hymn sheet here. He definitely wants it in. Yankos wants it out. We've uh, entered all mid mode as <laughs> all the Lee Sins out, gravitating towards the action. In fact, with the flank as Clearlove goes in. Next one in for Prey. Ziv's gonna follow him, but Ziv actually over the wall by Prey's kick is gonna be Clearlove goes down in a 1v3. Ziv tries to make the big play. Safe goes in for Albus, who flashes forward and does get Prey taken down. He's low though, it looks to be a kill, and Impact will pick up the next one. So is and Ziv, just not enough health. Well, we're 22 to 18 now, gents. 40 kills on the board at the 17 minute horizon. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 3,000 gold advantage to Fire, but is that Dragon going over to Ice? So at least we've got that going for us, which is Ice. Ziv, Ziv Radak coming into the mid lane. Ron, OP, and Impact to find that Q. Got to a fake out style coming in. The Lee Sins are evolving. They are adapting. <laughs> All right, let's see if they can make a play here. Uh, Lee Sin on the other side of the Raptor Pit as well. I don't know about the surprise play from Rankos. I'm not going to go in for it though, as Clear Love will cover. Ron OP looking for his own flank here, so it's potential turret dive series. They get a little stronger and a little tankier. Meanwhile, we do have Bangi off split pushing, and we talk about objective focus and the Korean focus on that. It still remains true, even in the. Uh, uh oh, never mind. Looks like it does cost his life. Yeah, macro it's game doesn't quite work out when you're playing 10 <laughs> Lee Sins, so it uh, gets punished there by Europeans who know exactly what's going on when there's no macro going on. Mid lane, uh -oh. Albert. Prey's gonna be jumping in there, getting kicked into his allies. But it's now clear that he's under attack. He wants to jump away, but there's yet another Dragon's Rage. Ron OP here to support him. He does have his own kick left right. Meaning, that's clear love going down. Now Ziv coming in here to join the festivities in the mid lane, but it looks like it's over. Say that. Oh, uh, <laughs> something, but he's gonna duck. It'll never over. Levi maybe looking to attack the next one. I feel like Clearlove got left out to dry there by his teammates, but couldn't really do too much, says Ziv, though. He's gonna dive in, get kicked back uh -oh. through. In between, and there's gonna be a kill. Levi kicked back through, though, with Ron OP being moved in towards it. Yanko's gonna get exhausted as Alba tries to snipe one on the back end of the fight. Safe goes away to dodge the next Q, though, as now Yanko's looking for another. Ron OP not gonna get tagged as Soas tries to find Prey and. Prey is going to equal it onto Yankos. Yankos though, is going to kick one back. Levi now going to try and shut it down. I thought we were done. Yankos going to flash away and stop the noise for now. But Bengi could be in trouble. Ding, ding. Never done with the noise. Here we go. A couple of misses actually on the Qs. Round 16 fight. Levi coming in there. So as he's off to the side, he's under the Q, but he doesn't really want it. The rest of the least ends up following after. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. So as so, uh, so he will be dropping down. Albus will back away. Q goes awry. And that's yet another kill to Team Fire. It all comes back to the mid lane. Oh, Bengi actually taking a couple uh, tower hits there. Oh, Albus wants a Q! Oh! Wants a Q, but he gets kicked back by Bengi. I like the thought, but it wasn't enough. Frey looks for the kick, but doesn't get it. Clearlove kicks a bunch of people through as he's looking for the flank, but Frey is going to hunt him down. Clearlove gets that one, but he's going to be answered back by Levi. 
and it's just everyone trying to take down a tower. I mean, every once in a while, for a couple seconds, one Lee Sin will go to a side lane to pick up the farm, but has to return mid eventually. Oh, yeah, and cut. Oh, he doesn't get it, Levi and Bengi. That just shuts him down. 27 kills to Team Fire now. Rift Herald oh, never going to be an objective. No, he doesn't get it. What even happened there? I couldn't see a thing. Whoa, wait. Uh, the ignite wasn't quite enough there in the end, but so has yet another fight in the mid lane. Chased down Real by bad. Impact. Run OP. Tanked up. But so has Tack Yuri. We flash too. Not a good sign there for Soas. And maybe finally we'll take a little extra turret damage. Albus, he's on wave clear duty this time. Whew. All right, let's see if we are able to get any uh, dive action going here. Two reinforcements on the way for Team Fire, only one for Team Ice. And there's a little bit of jungling going on for Team Fire as well, trying to take advantage of the extra experience. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure which replay this is. Oh, <laughs> he saw the shutdown, you know, in his sights there. Yeah. Wanted to get it off of Levi, but not able to take it down. Return to the objective, though. And so as clears out the wave. And it's done! We tower tower. Tower. Oh. The first tower, like, clear. oh my god, that feels <laughs> bad, right? Huge plays, he bolts into the back line to take him down, and now in fact, caught out there, follows in onto Zip with Albus flanking around the backside, Prey and Soaz are tussling, but Soaz should be able to take that down. Last tower shot's not enough, but the ignite is from Soaz, as they are going to keep chasing Zip, kicks one back to as Levi takes the tower, keep making it to the tower, though, huge play from Yank on the Europeans, try to do what they can as Albus Skitters away over a wall, but Ron OP still going to keep chasing his impact. Really wants his final kill on Yankos. There's just nowhere to run. He'll get a double for his troubles, but Ron OP should be able to seal this. Yankos needs to keep drinking. Ron OP says, I'm just going to order you, but Yankos makes it out of the tower to Bengi. Oh, Bengi. Into Bengi's waiting arms. Oh, no. Huge outplay again. Oh, Yankos, the king of Europe. Making sure he gets that one, and what a play! And that has evened up the scoreboard just a little. The hopes of ice are resting in the Europeans' hands here, but what an insane display of Lee Sin mechanics. Yeah, from which, which one of the dead? If we have 10 Lee Sin, we have to have somebody uh, with a good play. So far, though, Team Fire are accumulating a pretty decent lead now. See if they can make use of the extra towers and map control as well. Most of the wards now are on the side of Team Ice, so a bit more plays to be made there. Man, there's like no chance to take a breather for us or, or the players <laughs> in this game. This is absolutely absurd. However, Fire with those two extra tower kills over Ice are edging ahead. All right, we're going to have to work out a system uh, for taking the <laughs> rent now. <laughs> Looks like we're going around the Baron area. And as, of course, the game goes on longer, this should be a bit easier. Baron with these many Santa hats is just chilling out for now. So I was look to, looking to get aggressive, and we're pretty early on into the game still, so death time is won't be too long. I think he's going to get sacked. Ziv looks for something. Ronan P kicks into the back line. It's still up. Kicks one back to it. Bengi, he gets both back into another kick. Genius play. Because that's a double kick in. Ronan P moved in, and Ice starting to take over this team fight. So it's tagged by Prey. is going to go down as Impact. Going to try and clean things up, but it's 3v2. Yankos finds it in onto Prey as Albus is getting taken down. Great kick there as well, but Albus just needs to keep the team mates alive. There's another double. Ice coming out ahead as Albus. Looks for another cube, it isn't gonna get oh. an impact. He's fighting with a tanky build. Maybe it's enough, but impact is gonna duke around, but they will take him now. And there's our A. Let's go, Ice. Yankos, new king of the rift. He's the highest level Leeson in the game. Just wore off with the double buffs, but that is gonna be Team Ice's turn to strike back and take down mid turret. When there's no Lee Sins on the board, it doesn't matter that you're all melee range because there's no one to contest you. They'll be finally able to take away this middle lane tower. And we get to see that one more time. All starts off by Albus jumping in there along with Ziv and Soaz. This is exactly what I would expect the team fight to look like when we have 10 blind uh, players on the map here with all these things in and out. And then uh, Soaz does get targeted. All right, Yanko. That's what you're getting, Kobe. That's not the, the end of the replay. <laughs> don't have enough time, I don't think. Replay live, what's the difference and, here? And Dragon does go down. Yeah, though. another Drake there for Team Ice. So Ocean and Clown added to the tally. A little sad we didn't get the RNG from yesterday. Well, we just casually put in all the Fire Dragons, but I guess we'll take it this time around. It's better than nothing for Team Ice. You are still behind one tower on objective. Yeah, we'll take it. Levi is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Soaz, but Soaz does decide to back off. He's got many Lee Sins there to back him up, but as does his uh, opponent in the top lane. <laughs> Baron is still an objective, but uh, both teams would like because the team that gets it, the other team, uh, probably can't clear any of those minions because they're all Lee Sin. Fendi, 
I was thinking about going in there, but we've got the old uh, standoff happening here in the jungle. It's just who wants to go in first. I just remember that Impact, he's running uh, Courage of the Colossus, so he is the initiator for fire. Seems to be a correlation between Courage of the Colossus and lowest kills in the game uh, for <laughs> Impact Take there. Take one for the team, Kobe. <laughs> Definitely working out with the tanking, I guess, because their team is ahead. All right, here we go. The engagement, an insect on someone. Oh, huge kicks there. Isa kind of scattered around Ronip. He looks for another one, but doesn't get it through. Bengi, they're going to get chased out, and there's another great double kick combo for Ron OP. They're going to get taken, but he gets kicked back into Prey. Who's going to fall as well? No, he lives for now as Yankos flashes out the safety, but he's going to get shut down by Impact. Prey now still trying to chase too, but Ron OP's here as well. Second Q's going to miss, though, and not a bad trade. Two for one in the favor of Fire. So uh, he's kiting around the top side of that fight as well, but it may not be over. Levi, he is down to half. He's got to jump in, but the Black Plat changes the course of the fight. Kalilo comes down, but it's the rest of Fire who are in hot pursuit of Team Ice right now. Kalilo, he's trying to get away, but there's no escape from five Lee Sins. Kalilo jumps over the wall, but he's going to burn. He didn't have time to stop, drop, and roll. Five kills to one, and that's Fire going for the Baron. Oh, looks like they're going to get it too. Every member of Team Ice in the fountain. And we do have our first Baron going to go down here. Santa hat and all. Well, the game is uh, totally seems, but only two of them have Smite. And unfortunately for Team Ice, the Jungle of has only just arrived. No time to get back in onto the Baron. And that will be the first Baron. We talked about the pushing and the wave clue being an issue before. This seems ah. like a pretty good solution. <laughs> Maybe the only solution. All right, let's take another look at the Blast Cone play here. Take us through it, Pastry. Uh, what was step number two as far as the plan goes? I mean, step one was Blast Cone, step two was Lee Sin Q, and that's kind of all the steps you need in this mode. Got it. Hit the Q, take the Q. Ooh, Albus got hit with a couple there, and that is going to be the end of that play. Thank you very much. All right, so 38 kills for 30. Pretty <laughs> standard at 26 minutes. And Yankos, remember that Team Ice have pretty much no wave clear. So as soon as Fire decide to group up, or even just go for a 1-3-1, there's pretty much nothing that the Leeson lineup can do against them. Ah, interesting strategy here from Team Ice. They're splitting up into the 1-3-1. Classic European split. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can uh, outpush the Baron up Team Fire, though. We're headed straight down mid. I feel like these are the, uh, the classic anime glasses push there. It's just like, oh, yes, I see exactly what they're going for here. Well, it looks like it's bad times for us either way. It's actually really just ripping through the turrets. Uh -huh. Here's the flank. Let's kick back though, Ronan P and Albus looking to tussle, and there's Yankos going down on the other end. 5v4 now, as Ronan P gets kicked back in. Clearly finds a big target on the Prey, but he's going to kick it back into impact. Not bad, but another counter kick's pretty good. Everyone's trying to get out under the tower. Prey and Bengi are low, but no one's fallen just yet. Yankos, the only death in the team fight. I mean, I guess it does raise your accuracy. If uh, the other team has all five members left up, then it's easier to hit because you missed the one in front of you. There's a bunch more behind him. Uh, looks like Albus, though, no friends around him to escape to. No, if there's no one around for a split second, you will be ganged up upon by many angry Lee Sin boxers who will be there to kill you. Mid lane now being pushed in. They have this Baron buff. Lots of damage coming down. Uh, turns out you can punch a turret to death. Oh no, this looks like bad news here. Zivia, he's got too many people to oh, 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 run in. Right run up had the second Q. Prey is following after onto Soaz now. He's got the rest of his Lee Sins in pursuit. Double Q, triple Q misses. Soaz, the escape artist, can he make it happen oh, in this one? one? He's kill. been exhausted. He's got one. One versus many. Is he it, man? <laughs> he is not. He is not. He's Prey not. kicked him even though he was dead after that last Q just to make extra special sure. All right, now he's got uh, three members of Team Fire on his good trail. Luck, Yankos. Oh no, that's not good, but a decent kick's gonna get yeah. a couple. Pray the next target, but Yankos, he just can't get away from this chain. That's Levi with the killer's album. Tries to get one, doesn't quite throw towards Bengi though. Impact gonna tank that next Q. Ooh, interesting Ooh. teleport there from Impact. Levi gonna protect him. Uh, necessary to go get those minions, remember? The extra gold there. Look at that. I mean, Levi has not only the most kills of any Lee Sin in this game, but also the most minions. Truly doing work there. He's been watching a lot of Jackie Chan films growing up, preparing for this one moment where he's going to be in this all-for-one against other martial artists. And now he's bringing it to them, 17-3 and 12. Uh, he's just gone off this game. Certainly a true master, but Cloudbox up in 40s. About the only good news left for Ice, because Fire have taken over. I can't imagine how difficult it is to kill the super minions in the mid lane. And Baron Buff thankfully has dropped off, but we can start to get some additional pressure and see if Fire can try and close out the game. It looks like somebody's in trouble down here.
Or will he uh, make a magical Lee Sin escape? Let's see. Ziv, go! Who really uh, knows? He's gonna give it a shot. He's gonna jump up. No, he's no. <laughs> Pretty short-lived uh, escape there for Ziv as he heads back to the fountain. But I have to say, yeah, it is very difficult to defend turrets as well in this mode. And you have to question, yo, what does a comeback strategy even look like? If you all group up in the same bush, someone's going to get kicked through and everyone gets knocked up. Uh, is it even worth it? Well, oh, Yankos. Topsy Turvy fight. Yankos dead already, though. Fire again is hunting together, picking off the Australia Sins, and now Soa is going to try and get his way out. Q's going to miss. Next Q's line up. Impact is going to chase him down. That one's going to hit, but a good kick's not bad. Still the Q will follow us. Bangy tries to chase him down. Levi hits the next one. Beautiful accuracy and just does more than enough damage. Clear up. Now the trouble tries to pop the team out. Kicks him away, but it's not nearly enough. Oh, no. Team Fire, they're just blazing it too hard right now. Four and zero. And I think this might be curtains for the ice lineup, unfortunately. Too many leaders. Lee Sin's died. They'll head on to the Nexus, and the Nexus Towers, a heroic attempt at a defense from Albus there, but he will ultimately be shut down. Ziv just does not have the technology to deal with this. He almost finds Bray. He finds one. If they go down like Warriors, maybe he has a chance, but they're on to the Nexus, <laughs> and it's Team Fire securing the win. It just felt like towards the end there, it was getting too difficult. Critical mass was reached. You just keep getting kicked. You're gonna take execute damage. It was a bad time. I mean, Team Ice actually had a really good start, and I thought that this was gonna be a completely one-sided snowball game. But even with the early kills there and the early turret, Fire were able to make that comeback in the mid game uh, off of that big lease in play. <laughs> <laughs> Great analysis. You remember the one I I'm talking did about? That. Right? I did yeah. that. First pair certainly looked like some props as well, but credit where it's due to all ten players. Fantastic display on Lee Sin.